G'day, welcome to Mount Cran Variety Culture. I'm just in the shed at the moment, um, preparing some frames. I'm going up to um, um, Evans Head tomorrow to get some honey off my friend Cameron's hives. And in return for his kind, it's gonna take him up 100 frames of, um, of plastic foundation, just to, to thank him for helping me out. So, just wanna show you the setup I used to um, get these frames ready. There's a lot of resistance to plastic foundation and some beekeepers will die, die on that hill that they'll never use and it's no good and the bees don't like it. And look, I've found different and you know, each do their own. I don't really care what you do, but um, I have pretty good success with them. I just wanna show you how I get these frames ready. So I start make up my fantastic well bees frames. There's information for well bees down in the notes under this video for where you can um, obtain them, particularly in Australia. Um, great quality frames and I use them exclusively. So make sure you get frames with the deep um, groove bottom bar and the groove top bar. Just get your foundation in like that. Always have those little gaps down in the bottom corners and just pop it in. Makes a lot quicker than wire at a frame, I can tell you. Okay. This is B-Plus foundation. It's a really hard, um, rigid type foundation and that's the only one you want to get in Australia. There's another one ending in plus. Um, don't get it, it will drive you crazy. Um, so I just keep a frying pan with melted beeswax in it. So I just melt my box in a little little box, melt my wax in little blocks like this, and just leave it sitting there. The secret to this is um, on these frying pans, don't get your wax too hot. Just make sure it's nice and um, Cool. So that's set on one, and that's all you need. It any hotter, and you'll um, you'll warp the plastic in the frames. So let's get in and do a few. So I just use these little rollers that I get from the large warehouse from Bunnings. Um, make sure you get the rollers that have got the short. I guess it's called the nap. I don't know. Um, rather part opposed from the big thick ones. So these I've used this one for ages, and I just think it'll last forever. So just get that rolled on nicely and. Roll that on. Use your two rolls of space. All you need to do is get it on those edges there so you can see it cooling down and whitening up there. And that's all you need. You don't need to fill the cells or anything like that. This uses a lot of wax, all the same. Really clean. You can go that way. You don't need every square inch of it um, covered either, so you can just see that starting to cool down and see that lovely white outline on, on all the cells. And the bees just pick up on those edges and build on them straight away. So that's all I'm doing. It'll warp a little bit with the heat, but once it cools down, it'll straighten out again. Let's just do another one. See that whitening up nicely there? That's what you need to get it to. So, well bees frames and B plus foundation. Well, B sell the B plus too if you um, if you're looking for an outdoor distributor of them. Just scored a box full of these the other day. Um, one's been done. Out. So just scored a box full of these. I've got no idea what brand they are. There's nothing marked on them, but they um, feel like a softer plastic. But um, I'm going to be using them and putting them in my in my hive. I think they've already got a, a, a wax coating on them. These things just by the look at them. See that sort of coating you need? Just 
So there you go, that's how I do it. Um, you can roll it on pretty quickly with that. I did 100 in about an hour this morning, so it doesn't take long once you once you get going. So these plastic frames were put on this hive um, a few days ago, and here's a good example of bees just starting to work this, this plastic foundation. So this has been fully waxed like I've demonstrated, and you can just see them starting to pick up that, that outline there. That's in a few days, so if you wax these frames well, they take to them really, really nicely. So I can see them whitening up right through the middle here. Here's another one. You can see them starting to pick up that outline there, and they'll be off on this piece pretty soon. Just as this hive expands, it was put onto a strong, that's what I'd say, a, a fairly strong single. So, um, yeah, they weren't bulging, they weren't lifting a lid off anything, but they're certainly going up into that, into that plastic foundation and starting to work on it. So, yeah, if you prepare plastic foundation well, then um, they'll work at no problems at all. So this is an example of frames that have been in for a little bit longer. See them working away on that there. On that side as well, I'd say a couple of weeks. And these fellas have been in. So just progress through here. That's drawn out nicely. They're just starting to put a bit of nectar in there as well. So. Another nicely drawn out frame. They're going to pull that out. No problems at all. So, mm -hmm. um, what I do recommend is that you get these frames drawn in the honey super rather than the brood box. They just seem to <coughs> do it a lot quicker and easier. And you can then uncap these and put them down in your brood box. So that's actually got that's actually got um, fresh brood in it. So there's eggs and larvae in there a nice ring of nectar around the outside. So they've had no hesitation to, to draw that and get the queen to lay in it. It's an indication too of the good conditions here. Um, if, if conditions weren't as good, then they may struggle to draw that out. You can see eggs and larvae in there. Pretty to look at. 